All right. You are now listening to the Late Night Takeout, and I'm your fill-in host, just some guy named Jay, like I've always been, and we're filling in for Michelle T. Jackson. And uh, Barbara williams Casey is here with me. How you doing, Barbara? What's up, Papa? Oh, yeah, I'm doing well. You ready for this show? Let's do this. Oh, yeah, the show is only 30 minutes tonight. Um, you know, we're going to make this quick and painless. <laughs> We have uh, Polo Young Cocky. Oh, yeah, we got Polo Young Cocky in the building with us. Polo. Cool. How you doing? Doing well, man. And uh, we also have Spade with us. Let me, let me turn Spade's mic on. Spade. Hello? Oh, he dropped off the line. Okay, uh, mm. Polo Young Cocky, how you doing tonight, man? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for all you guys listening, uh, the song we just played was Mr. Boom Boom Bang. It wasn't Polo Young Cocky. Uh, we don't have that loaded up in the system. We're working on some somebody else's stuff right now. But uh, but definitely check out Polo Young Cocky's single, Nino, that's out right now. Um, could you tell the listeners about the single? Well, basically, well, nobody really knows that kind of a breakup song, but it sounds a whole lot different than, you know, what's the real meaning to it, but that's about it. It's not, you know, just some stuff I was going through in my life. I had to cancel some people out of my life, so that's how the song came about. Well, why did yeah. you pick that particular person? I mean, of all the gangsters out there, only one other person has picked Nino Brown to copy in one of his tracks, and that was Jay Z. Why'd you Why'd you pick Nino Brown? I'll pick Nino Brown because actually, I actually quoted him when I was going through what I was going through. I told him mm-hmm. I just that I had to cancel. I had to cancel it like Nino. So mm-hmm. I just thought, like, man, that'll make a nice song. You know, I'm gonna mm-hmm. put that into to reference of some of my music. You know, that's what music is really about, what you're going through in your life. You exactly. know, I'm not the type of artist that's gonna make a song about drilling and shooting and stuff. I don't do that. When I was younger probably but not no more. I have a kid and there's other stuff I could talk about and rap about. That's true. Why'd you pick the name? Where where Polo Young Cocky come from? Well, polo came from, I always got some polo on, and everybody <laughs> always kept calling me polo, so that okay. just stuck. And Young Cocky is um, a team a team that I got. You know, it's a, um, it's, a, it's a lot of us. So I actually was brought into Young Cocky, so they came mm-hmm. to me and asked me. They liked my music. They asked me to get down with them, so I just go, you know, I like, I like their movement. So I just hopped on with the team. That's nice that you oh. gave him a portion of your rep, and though that was nice. Yeah. Now, uh, now, Polo, let me ask you. Um, what did what that chick do to you, man? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and you had to, to cancel it. Like, I know you should. How was she acting up? How was she acting in that? Uh, you know, you know, relationship problems, man. You know, when you're young, you do crazy stuff. You get fed up. You know, that's like my boy J. Cole said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool right. me three times, after peace sign, load the chopper, let it rain on you. Hey, I got my heart broken. I just put it all in the song. Mm-hmm. I feel you. You know, um, well, we got your co-manager back on the line. He's back in the queue. We'll bring Spade on with us too. Um, Spade, you there? Man, I'm everywhere, boy. Hello. Well, I'm Hello. glad you're here. I'm here, <laughs> I've been here. I just didn't say nothing. What's, what's going on, everybody? It's Hello. Spade. How you doing? Who's oh, speaking with? Who's that? Uh, that's Barbara. That's, that's Miss Barbara right there. How what's you up, doing, man? Barbara? All right. All right, you doing? I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm in a room. It was uh, Southeast Magazine. The CEO, you know, Jay, business man of the year. You know what I'm saying? No, That's me. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. I'd like to thank y'all very much for having me on the show. Having Polo on the show, very much appreciate y'all. I'd like to say I very much appreciate people in your profession that, that stays in the media, that stays in the marketing and the digital marketing and keeping up, you know, with the trends and having people, having artists like Polo, you know, still able to make a way through this network of music. I just want y'all to let y'all know that I'm very happy and very proud of y'all to keep this up because we need outlets like this for the independent artists, for the independent world, you know, and all. Mm-hmm. Um, not, not a lot of people sit and really tell y'all, hey, I really appreciate you going through the motions, building these platforms, and making way for exposure for people who are still ignorant to how to actually get on platforms and get any type of exposure in the music game. I want everybody mm-hmm. in this room to say thank you to yourself and to the other ones, you know, to, to that's working hard to keep things, to keep radio stations, keep magazines going, you know, and to keep the dream alive that there's still there for your music got to. There's still the artists out there like Polo. There's still real businessmen out there like Jay. There's still businessmen out there like Miss Barbara, you know. And then, then mm-hmm. you, have to, um, you have to keep the faith alive, man. The music is all we got. That's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love, appreciate love. that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's an honor to uh, have us all on the show right now. You know, and mm-hmm. definitely shout-out to Michelle T., you know, she's uh, she's down and out right now, you know, hope you, you know, get well soon. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm filling in for the night. And um, you can also check out this show, The Late Night Takeout, every Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, um, so yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, Spade, I want to ask you, what, what, why did you decide to work with Polo? I guess, you know, like you said, he's a, he's a like you said before, he's a good artist and you're doing his thing. Um, what, what, what was it about him that, that made you go, you know, I need, I need to rock with him? All right, I'm going to tell you, all right, I, I've seen Polo singing in the alley, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, discovered, I discovered Polo singing doo up in the alley. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For, 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 for Lent and Tennies, no, nah, no. Nah, um, Polo, he, um, <laughs> he, I, I've been to Polo for a while now. And um, we both, um, um, we were with the same artists, we know the same people. You know what I'm saying, and um, I always been, you know, a good fan of polo music, especially his ad libs. You know, he, he's um, he he's got he got a very good talent of keeping you in, um involved in the song. You know what I'm saying, Just keeping the song mm-hmm. in, and never 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 having you bored. So I always um, I took a liking to his way he do his hooks. I took a liking to how his flow and things like that. You know what I'm saying, and um. <clears throat> I, I was very busy at the time, and I was managing other artists and things like that sort. And um, things pretty much slowed down. I ain't, I, ain't say, I ain't trying to say, oh, now I got time for you now, but I was blessed with time to work with you now, you know. And um, mm-hmm. when things started to go down on my end, and um, Polo started contacting me more. He had hit me up on a very serious tip one day. I, I don't know exactly what was going on. I'm pretty sure it was personal, but I got to say it was inspiring. Because he called me out of nowhere. Uh, I think it was on the middle of the night or something. He just said, man, stay, you know, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to um, start connecting, making some type of moves. And I hear the serious in his voice. Now, that, that's all it takes for me to get involved with you is you have something you have to pass it for. Because anybody can talk about they're ready to get famous or they're ready to get money, but nobody talk, can ever talk about how much they're ready to live this life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And actually, actually they're ready to live the struggle. And Polo, he has a talent, and, but that day he saw he ready to live the struggle and ready to deal with everything with the bad that comes along with you trying to get into the industry. Because everybody looks for the gold and never look for the copper. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got, you got, you got to understand, you got to make gold out of everything. Copper, silver, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, brass. And right now we feel like copper trying to get the gold. And that's the kind of people I like to work with, people that's hungry, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, but also still know they worth. And Polo was all that all, all, that, all the above. At that moment, so um, yeah. After after we um talked a few things over with his um his um his investor slash manager, we decided to get a lot of things on the road. Um, still a couple of things going on pretty slow, but as for his catalog, heard a lot more of his music. Polo is mm-hmm. a very well all around artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He got something for the women. He got something for the guys. And everything's basically on a turn up tip. They actually go everywhere they want. So I see a lot of potential, a lot of lucrative 
um, you know what I'm saying, success in, 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 his, in his music if it's being put on the right platforms. We still got a long way to go, but as of right now, you know, I'm willing to try to go as much distance with him, you know. So, yeah, when he called me that day, that's why I decided to work with him. Well, Spade, I think he's a superstar already because he's on YouTube. Anybody make it to YouTube? Um, PY, PYC, you already out there, baby, because it's all over YouTube. Most of the tracks that you've done, people have recorded and put them up there. So that's what I've been listening to all day. And then someone did a biopic on you. I don't think you know. Most of y'all independent artists don't know, but people who know you or think they know you have done biopics on you and put them on the um, independent labels that you can Google on your phone, because that's how I do most of y'all. Yeah, so I only, I mean, you know, so, yeah, yeah, so you out there more than you think. I mean, they're just avenues people haven't really addressed to you because Spade is taking you in another direction, but for the lowly ones of us, like me that's listening, that really, that don't know you and got to know you by the day, I learned a lot from my Google and mostly from the YouTube, from people who, you know, listen to your music or have been out there wherever you've entertained at. So you are out oh, there. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, anybody making it on YouTube, you you'd have made it because that's worldwide. You just exactly. it's just a matter of putting it on putting it on tracks for you know people to get it and actually buy it. But as far as hearing you, YouTube is worldwide. So you already worldwide, my brother. Just just work it out yeah. with your ball still. And I also want to say too, when you Google them, uh, Barbara, a lot of them sites I get, I got them all. You know, doing my promotional work. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So uh, art and then holler at me. You know, Southeast Hip Hop Mag at Yahoo dot com. You know, you need to get your stuff on more uh websites, more blogs. So uh mm-hmm. you know, you search, show up with more Google searches, definitely holler at me. I'll do that for you. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's uh, that's what it takes. Takes that A one content, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's it's consistent. Um, it's consistent uh, will. You know, you got you got to stay consistent. That's like the main thing to do because music literally gets old in ten minutes. Like somebody no. calls a song, somebody call a song or video old within two weeks. They said, man, that song is old. You got to be consistent as hell. Even even if even if, even what songs you feel like is old to you, put them out there. Uh, for right. For some of the time space. Uh, for some of the time space for people that be up at one o'clock or three o'clock in the morning for music, they they go into you, they they find that you coming up in the search because you're consistently keeping up content and music videos and, and your and your um and your browser. You know you got um you got to learn how to like you said manipulate this thing. Like it, it's it, you can really literally become famous overnight. Mm-hmm. Overnight, the same stuff. You get signed. You don't, you're not getting signed unless your YouTube, your Twitter, your Facebook is, is cracking. Like your Instagram got some five, you know, like ten, fifteen thousand people following you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? These these labels look at this this now because they are selling into the trend. You know, mm-hmm. the same the same the same reason why these 360 deals are so popular now because. It's the only reason it's because of the 360 deal because he was able to see that these artists was getting a whole lot more other money or other, other ends besides just through them. You know, right. they, 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 get, they didn't kind of endorse this. They, they, they get, they got, they, they get um, shows on the side, outside the tool setting up with the labels. And now the labels saying, shit, well, well, let's go ahead and get their show money. Let's go ahead and get all they booking, you know, mm-hmm. things of that sort. So, um, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all that has made ways for the independent artists to make all kinds of money on That's their own. That's a good thing. That's a you good thing. Saying? PYC, it's have a, you ever been in any beefs, though? Hey, you having any any beefs with anybody so far, or just everybody's working their own way with you and you're not having any problems like that? Is that girl oh, no. Uh, no beefs? Really. I don't got no beefs with nobody. That's good. I'm just working. I mean, sometimes yeah, I sometimes it's kind of good to, well, sometimes it's kind of good to push. I mean, you know, like, you know, just to have one for both of y'all to get promoted. But, I mean, you know, as long as you're not having that issue, that's a good thing, too. Yeah, but I'm dope, issue, man. Issue, I'm a, I'm a hit maker. Man, don't you know, me for this as long, long as you're a hit maker, that means you're a hater maker, too. Okay? Yeah. So that, 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 that's going to come. Regardless, and that's, how, and, that, and, and that's how we're going to know that you do what you're supposed to do. And exactly. You got somebody out there that's, that's liking it. Exactly. And, 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 and all really, a hater out there that got beef with him and he don't even know it. He don't even know it. 
You don't even know yeah. it. Could, it could be me. Uh, well, I <laughs> didn't got it started, so whoever it is, you just don't have to deal with it. The man is who he is, what it is. So, you know, the best thing you can do is try to make your own tracks and get your own management and, you know, just be gone. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say any of the word, just be gone. Don't even worry about whoever it is. Uh, I'm going to have some new music dropping soon, too. I know that's right. Again, I ain't mad at you. Yeah, there's some new music dropping, so y'all, y'all look out for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a joint dropping called Hercules. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to check that out. Think of Hercules. Uh, we, we, we ain't talking about, you know, the clumps and nothing like that. We talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we talking about Samson around here, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I but I, you out. had another one that was on YouTube, though. It was If I Something. Wait a minute. Let me go a little back because I was listening to a few of them. I mean, you got, it's a lot of them that I don't know if you think people be recording what you be doing and putting it up there. But it's, you you got another one up there too, because you said you made Nino based on your relationships. But uh-huh. um, it was another one. It was if I I can't remember, because I know I was supposed to focus on Nino. But well, well, hold on, let me go right. Bob, yeah, I'm looking for why he's talking. Go ahead. Well, um, yeah, I wanted to say uh, for the Hercules joint, uh, who'd you work with for? Like, what what producer uh, did you work with for Hercules? Or this producer named Shaq Beats. He actually a college student. He is very he made Nino beat too. Okay. So I work with a couple of people. I work with this producer named Track Surgeon. Track Surge, he um very very, very known in Chicago. D Brooks. Uh he has Dreezy producer. I work with him. I know. Okay. I've been working with a lot of people. What was up with Come and Go? What was what? What was up with Come and Go? The track you did, Come uh, and Go? Come and Go? Uh, yeah. The one, um, I made <laughs> I made that hook for one of my uh, friends, the guy that was on it. Mm-hmm. Um, young cocky, young gutter. He was telling me mm-hmm. about, you know, females going in and out of his life. And I was telling him that, you know, everything go in and out of your life. Relationships, money, everything you could think of is a it's an open door and a closed door. Mm-hmm. And you live and you die. You know, how you expect a relationship to last forever. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, everything's come and go. So I thought of a hook, put it together. And that was, and that was actually on the radio on 92.3. Shout out to DJ Ferris. He played it. He be playing a lot of my joints. Mm-hmm. But this was on YouTube. This was always what I was looking at the whole time, you know, listening to some of the ones up here. That's what I was saying. Matter of fact, I don't know how many people you got on that one. Let me see what it gave. Got 181 views on that one. But about 30,000 people listened to it. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I said. I always I do my research on, on YouTube. A lot of music on YouTube. I really, like, I really didn't start promoting myself or anything like that until I started mm-hmm. that space. So, all, so most of the stuff that you see on YouTube, I probably just mm-hmm. uploaded and just left it there. Mm-hmm. So I really never. Well, I don't care. It's up there. So that's a good thing. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. So that's a good thing. It's still up there. So we we have something to go to and look at while you're still working on other tracks with your, your producer there. We still got some hits to go look at. So that's that's a good thing. Yeah, I got one really video up there called um, I Can't Trust a Soul. I think that hit like 36,000 views. Can't trust. No, I ain't see that. I'm looking that's through all these. Yeah, cause you were calling yourself. Hold on, cause you you uh, it's been Polo up there the whole time, right? Uh huh. Polo been the whole time. Okay, yeah, cause okay, yeah, cause Young Gug got some other stuff up here with you. Okay. Yeah, cause I just want to make sure I'm looking at the right stuff. Don't be looking at nobody else's mess. I ain't trying to be funny. I don't want to look at yours. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, make sure you promote the right person. <laughs> Yeah. 
for that. That's right. Joint. When are you dropping that? When are you plan on dropping that Hercules joint? Uh, I'd say probably in the next week or two. Mm. Okay. It's, it's what I heard. I actually didn't know nobody did it until I heard Young Thugs like a day ago. Mm. I was totally different. Y'all working on a um a CD or a single that you yeah. gonna put out in the in the in the stores, Mr. Spade? He working on um he's working on a mixtape, y'all. He put it in the catalog right now, but I I don't want him to I don't want him to release it. Not, not ASAP, it's time for everything. I like to mm-hmm. release more even around the first and second quarter, around the issue time. Around the okay. Second, like, around the second quarter, something like that. As of right now, mm-hmm. I would like for him just to put out a whole bunch of singles, try to most like least one or two on the radio and get circulated on the internet radio. And mm-hmm. um, just, push, just push singles. You know what I'm saying? Like push four or five singles. And, uh, but he do have one development. Um, you want to tell the name of the polo? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's going to shake the word. I got this on. Uh, Single called I'm in love with a stoner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna put me where I need to be. Well, yeah, I think you already are, but can I can I ask your boss something? Well, since my boss right there, hold on, probably can I ask him? Because normally we ask y'all to freestyle for the other Black Topians that really don't get a chance to listen to the radio. But since your boss up here, and I don't want to get in no trouble, Mister Spade. Can can we get PYC to just spit out maybe one or two freestyle sentences? I mean, I, I don't think you want him to do his work, but can oh, I? Can he please? Because we got ladies and gentlemen who don't get a chance to listen, and now I want them oh. to be able to hear him, so everybody can, you know, get a chance to go back and look at his track. Is that all right? Oh, that's that's, that's, that's perfect. I thought you never asked. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I didn't want to get in no trouble. So you see, I asked like a little kid. I didn't want to get. <laughs> I didn't want to get no girl that's all my money. I didn't want to hear that, so you know. <laughs> that you ready, PYC? Can you give us just a little bit? Yeah. Just a little uh, something. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, some stuff. Um. <clears throat> see, um. See, I say, I say, um. You can hate the game like a critic. I'm all about my money. Never fall. Never fidget. Call me unforgiving, polar raising true religion. Got me flagging in a pigeon with this Blu-ray vision. When dudes get broke, they walk around the moat. But I'm the inspiration, motivation, and the hope. The way these dudes hate on me, I should be incapable. Carbon or tech, triple beam or digital. I am O R original, so artistical. Uh, something like that. I'm not afraid. Going off the top of the head. Um, yeah. Well, you know, we only, we only have three minutes left. We only got two, three minutes left. Uh, mm-hmm. Mark says on this show. Uh, Barbara, is there one quick thing you want to say right quick? Thank you for letting him do that without us getting in trouble, because I was going to really tell you, like Nino said, you know, rock a battle. Make me come out there like Keisha. <laughs> you let him go in, so, you know, yeah, I, I, I was going to save the line, because you let him go in on to do it. But, PYC, much success to you. And keep it going. Thanks, stay thanks. humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. And listen to Mr. Spade. Stay humble. Stay humble. That's going to be your biggest thing once you hit. Stay humble. That's, That's the best way to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I appreciate okay. y'all very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Polo and Young Cocky, you got one more, uh, one last thing you want to plug real quick? I can't right. hear you. What you say? I said one last thing you want to plug right quick. No, website? Not real. No websites uh, or, or sites to go to for you? Twitter, Instagram. My Instagram, Yonkaki underscore Polo. My Twitter, follow me, Polo Yonkaki. I got a song called Follow Me Too. That'd be dropping song. Um, just check me out. I'm in love with a stoner dropping January 1st. Hercules dropping in two weeks, so just look out. I'm coming. All right, now. All right. All right. I appreciate you all. Shut. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. You're welcome. No problem. Definitely. Take Thank time to you. Run out. I, just want, I just want to say, check out southeasthiphophmag.blogspot.com. Hit me up at southeasthiphop at mag at yahoo.com. Uh, thank you, Michelle T., for letting us uh, take your place for just Thank tonight. you, the boys. 
you know, and uh, that you've been listening to. This has been the Late Night Takeout, and uh, that's it. That's our show. And I'm going to put this show up on the uh, on Southeast Hip Hop Mag, too, so when you go to the uh, the page, I'm going to have this running as the audio. So, uh, Polo Young Talk, to tell all your fans, to all your listeners, to come to Southeast Hip Hop, and they can, they can listen to this interview again. Okay. All right. Thanks. No problem. Turn up, man. I appreciate it. All right, now. All right, take care. All right. Yep. All right.